Luna. His feelings about the snow do not match my own. <laughs> we got like, I don't know, eight inches of snow. So much that I have to find the animals before I feed them this morning. So, this is what we do when it snows a lot. We have to dig them out. And then I'm gonna have to uncover their water bowl right there and their food and let them out. Can you see them in there? <laughs> <laughs> they don't like the snow at all. So I'm going to shovel them a little bit. getting tired so I didn't shovel their whole run <laughs> because I've been shoveling for hours all these um, paths in the front and the back to all the animals so anyway the little princesses have their little red carpet I put down some straw for them because they don't like their feet in the snow I'm finally done it took me about an hour and a half to unbury everybody this morning. I had to shovel pathways, you know, between animals, from the animals to the shed, to the house, um, find everybody's dishes. Usually the animal chores take about 10 minutes in the morning and my kids just do them real quick. But they're not here, they spend the night at grandma's house. So I got the lucky, uh, the lucky snow dump all to myself today, uh, which is fine. It, it was quiet and it's warm out actually and I got a really good workout so I'm gonna go have some coffee now I have earned it I think after all this work <laughs> and uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions about how we keep chickens in the winter it can be a challenge especially when we have those uh, cold snaps you know weeks below zero um, but I actually don't heat my coop it's insulated and I use a deep litter method um, and my chickens do great with it so uh, let me know if you have any questions and we'll get to those and thanks for watching